quick look inside the payload, we've got eight Starlink simulators getting ready to make their way into outer space. Looks like we got a little bit of movement there, Dan. Coax it out. Get it moving, Jake. There we go. All right. First one going out. All right, first one's deployed. Getting ready for the second one here. We do a little reset back to the center position. Yeah, it takes about a minute for each. Looks real smooth, too. They made a couple of tweaks to those rails. If you watched the last ones, it had a couple of bumps on the way out, but moving out super clean this time. Yeah, and as noted earlier in the show, but definitely worth repeating, Starship will deploy Starlink's more advanced V3 satellites, adding 60 terabits per second of capacity to the network per launch. Uh, so that's 20 times more than each Falcon 9 launch does today. Just incredible. Not only giving us cool views off the planet, but also on the planet, help bring everybody along for all these Starship flights. I think that's number four. Somebody check my math. All right, couple more to go. I promise one of these days we'll deploy in daylight. But we're, we're basically trading deploy in the dark so we get those re-entry views uh, for the daytime. All right, I think we got one more to go. All right, now payload deploy complete. Starship will now close its payload door and continue to coast around Earth to the Indian Ocean.